hi beautiful people thank you for coming back to my channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how to properly make aloe vera oil for extreme hair growth and stronger hair i also use it on my skin because it feels so good on my skin please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for more videos I have three aloe vera leaves as you can see but for this video i'm just gonna use one aloe vera leaf i've used the other ones to extract the gel and experiment with them but this will be for another video i'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of each leaf then i cut each aloe vera leaf into three parts and trim off the sides with a sharp knife Now I put the aloe vera pieces in a bowl filled with water to get rid of the yellow latex. As I've said in my previous videos about aloe vera, the yellow latex is called aloein. It's important to wash it out especially if you're gonna use the aloe vera gel because it can create allergic reactions. I don't remember showing you guys how I disinfect my containers, so here you are. These are glass jars that I've already washed with tap water and dish soap. I've already disinfected the table with rubbing alcohol. Now I'm gonna spray the same product in my containers and their corresponding lids. Then I just use a clean tissue paper to dry them. Of course, you can let them air dry, you'll just have to wait a little bit longer. Rubbing alcohol dries pretty fast anyway compared to water. Once the yellow latex is gone, I remove the aloe vera pieces out of the bowl and dry them with tissue papers as shown in this video. I remove as much water as possible from the aloe vera leaves because water and oil don't mix and if you have water in your aloe vera oil, it will go bad very fast. Then I'm just gonna select three aloe vera pieces to make the aloe vera oil and the other ones will be for my experiment. I cut the aloe vera leaf into smaller pieces without removing the skin because it's actually the aloe vera skin that you need to make aloe vera oil. Aloe vera skin is very rich in nutrients and antioxidants which contribute to healthy hair growth and stronger hair. I'm gonna go ahead and put the aloe vera pieces in my blender. I cover them with grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil is very high in polyunsaturated fats which help to protect your hair against external damage. Then I blend up everything. Now, this is how the mixture looks like. It's so yummy! No, actually it's not, but it still looks like a delicious green smoothie. What do you think, guys?
I pour everything in a pot and cook over medium heat. Make sure to stir very often so that the mixture don't stick to the pot. Once the oil is easily separated from the mixture, stir for 5 more minutes. Then turn off the heat. This is how the mixture looks like now. I wait until it cools down to room temperature. Once your mixture has cooled down to room temperature, just pour everything into your jars. You don't have to do this, you can actually filter your aloe vera oil right away. It's just that I felt like waiting for two days before filtering the mixture. This is a close-up of how the aloe vera oil looks like in my jars. The oil is on top and the residues are in the bottom. As I've told you previously, I'm gonna wait for two days before straining the oil. Now, as usual, I'm gonna use a coffee filter to strain the oil. It separates the oil very well from the residues and can also absorb some water if there's any water left. I just pour the oil into the coffee filter and leave it alone. The filtration takes time so you can just go and do something else. I wanted to give you a small tip, if the filtration stops, you can just change the coffee filter like so. Finally, the filtration is finished. As you can see, now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my aloe vera oil into its final container. Aloe vera oil is very rich in antioxidants, chlorophyll, vitamin A, vitamin E, and so much more nutrients. You can add more vitamin E as well as essential oils to increase the shelf life. You can use aloe vera oil on your scalp to stimulate hair growth, on your hair to protect it against external damage, make it stronger and more flexible. You can also use it on your skin, it will really contribute to the suppleness of your skin. That's it for this video guys, I hope that it will help you. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video. See you in the next one!